Hi, so as you guys know, um, my throat hurts. Um, <clears throat> Actually, I don't feel sick, but the only thing is my throat, like every time I try to swallow, it's just like torture. So my doctor prescribed me to get a ginger shot with honey and lemon, or orange for that matter, and gurgling. So we're gonna, I, ju I just tried a little bit and it tastes like shit. So let's go for it. Hopefully this will like solve all of my problems in life. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's hot. No spicy. It's like tequila. Yeah. Holy cow. It's still burning. Don't do this at home, kids. And now some tea. And now some work. So we we just had another braai at um, Matthew's place. I forgot to film it again, but it was as amazing as the last one. I don't understand how people are not doing this every day, but they invited us again, which is very generous. And now um, I made a list of like things I want to do while here things that I can only do on my phone. I think that's something that I'm going to implement, which is a lot of the things that I do to be productive, I can only do when I'm on my laptop. Um, but there are certain things that, you know, I got to do, which I can easily do from my phone or can only do from my phone, like answer in Instagram DMs and, and messages or DMs and messages, DMs and comments or like, answering comments on LinkedIn or what did I write down here um, you know I want to do meetup maybe here maybe I should I, I should do that it's just scary what if no one shows up um, so always having like a list of things that I know I can do once I'm I'm not I don't have access to my laptop I think that will like increase my productivity productivity because it sometimes happens that you know I don't have access and then I'm like shit I can't do what I plan to do, so I'm just like aimlessly going to Instagram and like maybe answering a couple messages or scrolling through the feed. But if I know, okay, I, I don't have a like certain time when I do it, but whenever I'm in the situation of not having a laptop, then I know I have these things which I can do. Sorry, this was very long. Um, and it's also a nice view. So I just stumbled upon a um, fascinating article by Evan Spiegel, who is the CEO and, and founder of Snapchat. Or it's actually not an article by him, but it is a memo that he wrote for all the employees at Snapchat and it got leaked. Um, and it's basically how he, um, so Snapchat is struggling, right? I think the last quarter was the first quarter in history where they actually lost users. So the growth had been slowing down, but last month was the was the or last quarter was the first quarter where they actually lost users. Um, so they're struggling, and he wrote a memo to all of the employees of Snapchat on how he plans to kind of turn around the the company and and make it profitable again and. And there were some very interesting like strategic decisions in there and I think like one of the most interesting parts was that he realized that Snapchat's core val product value is um, it being the fastest, fastest way to communicate with your friends and it's I think it's hard to appreciate how hard it is to realize your product's core product value because like Snapchat does a lot of things, right? You have stories, you have messaging, you can write text, you can write video, show, send videos, you can send photos, you can send them just to your friends or to a group of friends. You can watch like celebrity stuff and, and like original content. You have filters, you have all of these things, but what does Snapchat actually do? And he realized that its biggest advantage is it being the fastest way how you can communicate with your friend because when you open the app, you immediately go to the camera. You're not in a feed. 
so you immediately can take a snapshot of whatever's happening right now and send it to your friends and that's why the redesign of the app didn't work out because they didn't realize that the redesign was fixing a lot of problems but one thing that it compromised what was the speed in which you can like find your friends and send messages to your friends um, and realizing your core product value is I think the most powerful thing that it helps you to do is focus because now that he knows what Snapchat is, i.e. the fastest way to communicate, he knows what other things he doesn't have to focus on, right? Like branded content and, and um, original content, that's not helping with faster communication. So that's a nice add-on, but it's nothing they should focus on. So there were a lot of things that he went into, like they are going into emerging markets, which is a risk because if you're doing that, you're pretty much going into markets with the expectation of making losses for a long time, with the with trading that for future profits, which is a risk because if you are not able to make the profits soon enough that you can cover all the losses, then you're pretty much done for. <clears throat> and so overall, the, the article, I think it was like a long one. It, it was like 6,000 words or something. And I can actually link it below if you're like interested in like kind of how these people make business decisions and like strategic decisions. Like for me, it was very fascinating to read. Um, I'm going to link it down below. But yeah, I think it's very hard for, you know, us normal people to appreciate what goes into growing a company like this because it's often decisions, right? And like taking risks and making a bet. And he literally like writes down how and why he makes these decisions and, and goes for doing like taking these risks and now we're able to see whether that plays out right whether snapchat makes a turnaround and next year 2019 they're gonna be profitable and gonna grow users again and gonna be the fastest way to communicate so yeah i'm gonna link it down below if you want to read it so right now um, I have a meeting with my YouTube manager slash oh, analyst, wait Ricky. Wait, wait well, hold on, one second, wait, one, one second, one second. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait, Ricky. You know, you're keeping everyone waiting, right? Because I know, wait, <laughs> where, where did Ricky go? This is your YouTube manager. Um, no, I thought Ricky is my manager. Who is, who are you? This is Ricky. Wait, it's the same person? Yeah, Wait, that's so weird. But anyway, right? me and Ricky were just talking about we should implement more polls and questions for you guys so you guys can uh, you know answer a question and comment down below. So I thought we would make the first one so like put a poll up and decide should I fire Ricky yes or no. And if <laughs> and if if yes like leave a leave a good comment of what's the reason and then we're going to fire Ricky. Cool. We're, say no? <laughs> we're, we're implementing I the strategy this right now. This is the only thing I have for me right now. <laughs> well, Ricky, it's all about the people. That's democracy for you. Uh, put a pull up. Oh, you gotta put the pull up, Ricky. It's your job. <laughs> You're not fired <laughs> yet. So click up. It's click somewhere. Left. Yes or no? And if yes, leave a comment. Why? Okay, done. No, if no, leave a comment. Why? Because you love me. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess. Well, just... no, write down your reasoning, no. either either one, either way, yes or no. Can I just give us a, not, like, a brief detail about myself then? Oh no, of so course not. This <laughs> <laughs> so is an unfair... Yeah, just yes really or nice no. Beard, so this is Ricky. If... Yes or no, should he get fired or not? He's right now my YouTube manager. Yeah, I have a really nice beard, which I think... Okay, bye! <laughs> Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why?